Hello everyone, this is Lily and she is a bark therapy dog and she's here today to read a book with you and the book that Lily selected on her birthday, today's Lily's birthday, is Mr. Tiger Goes Wild. This was written and illustrated by Peter Brown. So let's see the story. I'll let you see the pictures close up because they're really a lot of fun. So here we go, Mr. Tiger Goes Wild. Everyone was perfectly fine with the way things were. Everyone except Mr. Tiger. Hmm, he doesn't look so happy, does he? Mr. Tiger was bored with always being so proper. Good day, Mr. Tiger. Good day, Mr. Deer. Lovely weather we are having, I suppose. Indeed. Now, children, please do not act like wild animals. Poor Mr. Tiger, he doesn't look very happy. He wanted to loosen up. He wanted to have fun. He wanted to be wild. And then one day, Mr. Tiger had a very wild idea. What do you think it is, Lily? What do you think his wild idea could be? Let's turn the page and see. <gasps> decided to walk on all fours. He felt better already. Mr. Tiger became wilder each day. Roar. His friends did not know what to think. Peculiar. Wow. Unacceptable. Hmm. And then Mr. Tiger went a little too far. Can you see what he did? He took off all his clothes. Oh my goodness. His friends had lost their patience. Mr. Tiger, if you must act wild, kindly do so in the wilderness. What a magnificent idea. So, Mr. Tiger ran away into the wilderness. Lily, do you think that looks kind of pretty? That wilderness? That looks kind of pretty, doesn't it? I know. We like this book, don't we? Where he went completely wild. Rawr. There he is in the wilderness. But Mr. Tiger was lonely. He missed his friends. He missed the city. He missed his home. So, Mr. Tiger decided to return. And he found that things were beginning to change. Do you see that some of the other animals are doing some different things too? Now, Mr. Tiger felt free to be himself. And so did everyone else. The end. We hope you enjoyed Mr. Tiger Goes Wild by Peter Brown.